Hola, everybody. Welcome to the Cheryl Technology Channel. As always, I'm your host, Chris, and I am back with another video. And in this video, you see it on the screen. Yes, Google Family Link. It is another tool in my arsenal of tools. Keep my children safe. To provide a little context. In this video, I wanted to take a look at Google Family Link because Google Family Link is one of the tools I use in my arsenal of tools. And we'll switch to the phone here in a little bit that I use to um, like control my son's access. Now, control me is a little bit of a strong word, but You'll see what I mean here in a little bit. So what I really want y'all to do is pay attention to this video, watch it closely because the information I'm going to provide you will give you the necessary to keep your kids safe. Let's get into this video. Now, Family Link is a service provided by Google. I have everything paid Google services. I pay for pretty much all of it. So I have the YouTube premium. I have that. I have YouTube music. I have uh, Google One, which is, in case nobody knows, their storage. I have two terabytes of storage that I pay $100 a year for, which is dirt cheap for me. And I'm considering moving some of my other stuff to the cloud, but we won't get into that in this video. Now, Google Family Link is, it, it, it is designed for people who have Google or Google. Android related phones. So phones that require a a connection to Google. So like an Android phone whenever you set it up, you have to sign in with a Google account. That's what this 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 app is designed to do. It is designed to provide filtering service to restrict access. So in other words, and not just restrict access for kids to certain things, but restrict access to and I'm going to get into this in a minute restrict access to your account. So let, let's just dive into this right now. So when, when I say restrict access to your account, what I mean is that there are some third-party applications that you do not want to have access to your account. Now think about this very carefully, y'all. I'm going to give you some a little bit of wisdom. But first, let's have some coffee. Mm, that's good. The first thing I want to go over is when you think about this logically, right? You have, okay, so for us, we have six people in our house that have access to this account. I have one of my, two of my accounts, plus all of my kids and my wife. They all have their accounts connected to me. Now, you think about that, you allow a third party app access to your Google account. All of my other accounts are tied into my Google account. Whoever the owner account is, which would probably be my Cheryl Technology account. So I have a Cheryl Technology Gmail account, and that provides oversight over all the other accounts. Now, what I want you to understand is that when you allow an app access to your account, you are allowing access to all of your accounts because they are all tied to that one account. They are all tied. That's how they do these things. That's how they do the oversight. The way they do is because they connect all the accounts back to one account, right? So in terms of, of what we're trying to do here, we're trying to limit access for not only your kids to get into things, but for apps to get into the account. That's what we want to do. Now, if that's what you're trying to do now, let, let's just scroll down a little bit here so y'all can see this. So this is some of the stuff it actually looks like. And I'll, I'll move to the phone shortly. Just have patience, y'all. Um, basically, what you can do is you can you can find out where they're at. Now, a lot of people will criticize Google for this. They will criticize Google for saying, you're pulling too much data in. You're stealing my data. You're doing this. You're doing that. No. They are doing it to improve the services they offer, especially if you pay for it. They don't want you to go somewhere else. They want it to work so well that you stay with them. Now, does that not mean, does that mean that they're not taking data? I'm sure they are, but they're using it for their services and their services are very good. So you can like see, and screen time works similar to this to where it has, where it has like things you can limit screen time. You can turn the screen off. You can turn the apps off. Now, I'm not sure if Google will do this. I've never actually tried, so I don't know. 
So see, you can establish digital ground rules. You can control the apps that are installed, control how long they can use them, control whether they install third-party apps. I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff in here that you can do. Now, you notice here, so let's go back up. App permissions, you can control application permissions, whether they get access to the camera, the microphone, the files on the phone. That's where you things can get a little wink, a little wonky, but if if it's a verified if it's a verified uh, app, I wouldn't worry too much about it. So next, I want to get into the app. Now we're just gonna get. I've got my phone, my Pro right here, and I'm going to switch this over to my phone. Now, so if you notice on the screen, on my phone screen, and I will uh, I will uh, put this up on the screen. So there's um. You notice it says up at the top, it says Galaxy S22. So my son has, my oldest son has an S22. My youngest son has a iPhone uh, 12 Pro, I think. or I think right now he's running a 13 Pro, but my wife does all of that. I control the rest. Now, I am thinking about, I've said this in previous videos, that I'm considering going to Google all the way, either in terms of, whether it's a Pixel or whether it's a Android phone for everybody because I believe they're more useful. Just my personal opinion, Apple people, don't get mad at me because I have a MacBook Pro that I love. Um, so if you notice, we'll go into here. So this is app. So if you look at these apps, so Adam has been on TikTok for seven hours and one minute. What in the world? What in the world, Adam? TikTok's not that good. Looks like I'm about to block TikTok. But if you look, you see right here? Okay, so this is what I love about this app. Because it's tied into the account itself, he can't bypass it. Because you you we tie these phones into the email account. That's why it's so flawless. When it moves everything over and syncs everything, that's why. So if I don't like him looking at TikTok, I can set a limit on the app of how long I want him to be on it or restrict like to an hour a day instead of seven hours a day, Adam. Yes, I'm hollering at him. He's way over there. Well, something smells good upstairs too. It's about breakfast time. Um, so there's that. Now, the gallery, see, and you can literally block any app you want to block. The Samsung apps, you can block. You can literally block anything. That's what I love about it. It tells you how long they've been on it. Right, so let's go to the app details. So here's the app details. One billion downloads. I'll never know why. So it allows in-app purchases. So if we go into here and I can set a limit. See, I can set a limit of how how long I want of how long he's on it. So I can set a limit saying, hey, you only get 30 minutes on it. Let's do that. Done. And see, you notice out to the right of the TikTok symbol. It has the little hourglass saying, hey, this policy has been applied now. So then you look at all these. So he's got tons of stuff on there now. So then we're going to go to content restrictions. So now you can go to YouTube. Let's see right here. Let's use YouTube restricted mode. Now, the good thing about all of these things is that um, the good thing about all of these things, do you notice? So let's go to Google Play. So it requires uh, for approval, paid content only. So let's go here, all content. So see now, whenever he tries to download an app, it'll request my approval. Okay, y'all, let's, let's ask him, Adam, Adam, I need you to try to download an app. Anything, it don't matter. Just whatever you want to download, just try it. He's doing it. He's, he's cooperating with his daddy. Let's see. And what will happen is if he's doing it, it'll it'll what will happen is it'll send me a notification. Now, this wasn't working about a week and a half ago because we tried it and it did not work. Oh, it is? How come it hadn't sent me a request yet? Uh... What's it say? So it didn't. Okay. So, so y'all, this is one of the things I've noticed. Okay, Adam here, I'll set it back to the way it was. 
So that's one of the things I've noticed. You noticed, y'all, that it never sent me a notification to approve it. Now, it could be something on my phone where I've got that turned off. I don't know. I could look at that and see. But So let's go back. So then we can restrict uh, YouTube, Google Chrome, uh, try to block. You notice how it says try to block. Try to block. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that it, it's crazy because it's hard to block everything. So Google search, I've got safe search on, blah, blah, blah. Google assistant, parental controls. So here's all your parental control crap. See, and I hadn't even set it up yet, but that's for Google Assistant, which I don't use, and I don't think he does either. Account settings. So you notice it's uh, you can do account supervision, blah blah blah. See, these are all the things that it's got access to. See that that's what I'm saying. And you can like turn the if you notice at the very bottom, you could turn it completely off. The whole thing you just turn it completely off. You know, the, these are like some of the, this is one of the best content filters I've ever seen. Oh, see? See, now it says he installed Warplanes, Inc., World War II on Hill. Hey, Adam. Adam. How long ago was that? How long did that take? So it took, I don't know, he just said, uh, so it could have took, it didn't take no more than a minute for me to get that. So this is what I'm saying is that, so then we go into here. We can see the battery life. We can see Windows Online. That's his. Uh, so that's showing me that his his Google account has is on his uh, his S twenty two and it's in Windows. So I I don't know, man. This is this is pretty cool. This is some cool stuff, y'all. It's very very nice. It works really well. So then we can do highlights. Then we can do location. So we can set up location services. And see, when people say that Google is it knows where we are, they do because you give permission for them. You want to know where your child is, well, you got to have some way to know that. You can't know it. It's not magic. You got to know, you got to have some way of doing it. And location services is how they do it. So there you go, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And until the next video, everybody, I love you very much. And I hope that you learned something. And until the next video, peace, everybody.